Today I'm going to forget about the usual symbols we use for math. One, two, three, four. Those aren't numbers, they're just symbols, and often they make it harder to see the neat patterns that numbers make. The ancient Greeks, like many cultures before them, loved to play with numbers and look for patterns. They didn't always use symbols to represent numbers either. They used whatever they had around. Archimedes was famous for drawing circles and other shapes in the sand to discover their properties. Ancient Greek mathematicians often used rocks to represent numbers. What's more ordinary than a rock? So we're going to use rocks today. Let's start with one. There, that looks nice. Nothing really special is going on yet. I've decided I'm going to make squares. I'll add three rocks to make a square of four rocks total. Cool, that's more of a pattern. I have two rows of rocks, or a two by two square. Two times two is four. That's why four is a square number. It can literally be arranged in the shape of a square. Okay, let's make it bigger. I'm adding five more rocks to make a three by three square, a square of nine rocks total. That's a nice square. It's very neat, like a tic-tac-toe board. I guess nine is also a square number because here we have nine rocks in the shape of a square. Okay, let's make it bigger. I'm adding seven more rocks in the shape of an L here. All right, now I have a four by four square, 16 rocks total. I'm starting to notice a pattern because every time I want to make my square side bigger by one, I have to add a greater number of rocks. I started out with one rock, and when I wanted a two by two square, I had to add three rocks. The next time I had to add five, and this time I had to add seven. Each time I have to add the next odd number, one plus three plus five plus seven. I'm guessing that to make a five by five square, I need to add nine rocks, and to make a six by six square, I need to add 11. The coolest thing about this is that when I start adding up all the odd numbers, I keep getting square numbers. One, four, nine, 16. I can see that if I add nine to 16, I'll get 25, and that's five times five. And then if I add 11 to 25, I'll get 36. Six times six, neat, huh? Okay, let's look at another shape we can make with rocks. I want to add up all the numbers, not just the odd ones. I can just start making piles, but I don't really see much of a pattern. Why don't I try arranging them like this? I can start making a triangle. Each time I add a row, I just make the triangle bigger. We had square numbers last time, now we're making triangular numbers. But as the numbers get bigger and bigger, I'm having trouble keeping track of how many rocks I have. I can keep adding numbers, 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 equals 15, but that takes too long if I just wanted to know what the tenth triangular number was without knowing what the ninth one was first. I wouldn't want to add up all the numbers up to ten. Now I've got six rows of rocks, and I'd really rather not count them all. But I don't see a good way of figuring out how many rocks I have without adding or counting all the rows. I'm going to try arranging the rocks a different way to see if I can find another pattern. Okay, that looks different. But I still have one rock in the first row, two in the second row, three in the third, and so on. And now I can see a way to figure out the number of rocks. I'm going to add the same triangle upside down to make this into a rectangle. We can figure out how many rocks are in a rectangle the same way we figured out how many were in our squares, by counting how many rows we have and how many rocks are in each row, and then multiplying those numbers together. I want my second triangle to look different, so I'm going to use these paper fasteners instead of rocks. I'll make the second triangle the same way I made the first, except it will be upside down. That way I'll be sure I'm using the same number of objects and the triangles will be the same. Now, the rectangle is complete. I just have to count the number of rows and the number of items in each row. I figured out that I have six rows and seven rocks, or fasteners, in each row. Six times seven is 42. Now I have to cut that number in half to figure out how many rocks there are. 42 divided by 2 is 21. This should work for any number. If I want to know how many rocks there are in the tenth triangular number, I know I'll have 10 rows and 11 items in each row in my rectangle. 10 times 11 is 110. We just divide 110 by 2 to get 55, and that's the tenth triangular number.